Let's come back to the capital and take a look at what's happening out on the roads. It's about 25 minutes after 9 o'clock. What's the traffic situation like? If you recall, there was a story yesterday that was done by Hassan Mugambi about the rule of law once again breaking down just less than two weeks since that big crackdown began on the Matatu sector. But what's it looking like today? We have our Kimani Mbugwa who's out and about. He's on Langata Road as we speak. Kimani, what's good? What's happening on Langata Road? Still jam-packed or is it all easy plane sailing? Well, morning, Yvonne. We're on Langata Road, that's right. And, um, well, I was freezing and shining out here uh, this morning because the weather decided to act up. When I was leaving the house this morning, it was looking clear. It was looking like it was going to be a good day. But then uh, it's all gloomy and there's a bit of traffic. I uh, know this is a, these are the, the pictures behind me. You can see how it's packing up. This is uh, the area at Western Hotel going up uh, towards Langata Hospital. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of packed right now in this, this morning and you can expect this. But uh, generally the behavior of traffic that uh, we've, uh, you know, we've been uh, going around the city. In fact, Langata Road is the busiest one that we have come across. Langata Road and Mombasa Road. Oyaki Way isn't that bad and uh, this is expected because there was an accident here that happened a, f a few, like an hour ago. It was just just ahead of us next to the Western Hotel, uh, close to the team all around about. That is where the accident was, uh, but then it has been cleared. So that's why you might, uh, you, you're seeing this traffic here. It packed up then, so uh, it, th that was the incident that caused um, what you're seeing here. But most of the roads this morning are not looking that busy as as you expect because uh, it's the last week of November uh, people are you know going on leave and uh, there the aren't very many people on the road uh, but however the Matatu madness is still something that we are following up in fact uh, that story by Hassan Mugambi as he said uh, last night about uh, you know people not battling up uh, Matatu is going back to you know what we are used to them being and and that kind of indiscipline yesterday there was a crackdown along Thika Road and most people are stuck on the roads because uh, still we have matatus that have not complied. We still have matatus that have seat belts that are not fitting. Uh, we've uh, in the morning we wanted to do a link from the CBD with some of them. Uh, some of their their seat belts are not actually um, they're not functional. Some of them are dirty. So even if you get on the matatu, um, you can't use it because it's it's uh, either dirty or not working. We've seen some of those incidents. Um, of course, the, the biggest one being yesterday on uh, Thika Road. A lot of people were stranded yesterday. I remember talking to some people on Instagram who were tagging me on, uh, you know, videos of how they were stuck on on uh, on Thikaro because some of them batatus were arrested and they had to alight and you know find an alternative. The area around Garden City that is where it was happening. Uh, that area around Mountain Mall, uh, you know, police just doing a random, a random check, getting into matatus and uh, checking the seat belts, uh, checking whether passengers have, uh, you know, buckled up, which is a problem. And if you are arrested by a police officer and you haven't buckled up, then you're going to uh, pay a fine of 500 shillings. The problem is you're going to be taken to a police station. Now that's an inconvenience and. Uh, it still hasn't stabilized, uh, that is what I can say. Uh, we're still trying to find, uh, you know, a way back to, uh, uh, you know, a situation where everybody can follow the law and everybody can uh, is happy with the situation. Still, most passengers are not buckling up when they get into the matatus. Uh, police are trying to do their work, but then again, they can only do so much because uh, they cannot get into every matatu. But you've noticed when uh, they're doing a crackdown, for example, on Thika Road, uh, most people will be aware that maybe there's a check around a certain place and most people will, you know, try and, um, you know, con uh, you know, uh, buckle up or, you know, uh, try and uh, comply with some of these rules. But that, that is, we are still following up on, on uh, such incidents and we'll, you know, bring, bring up the ones that stand out to us. But generally, on the traffic this morning and this week, as I have been saying, you can expect easy traffic. This is not expected to last for long. Don't be scared by these pictures. Uh, it's expected to last up to around 10, 11, between 11 and 4 p.m. Uh, there's very little traffic in and around Nairobi, Yvonne. Thank you for that. Kimani Mbugwa on a top Langata Road. There's a great vantage point to be able to take a look at what's happening out on the highway. Kimani, thank you. We'll catch up with you again sometime soon.